Well, I'm back. Today I'm going to be making a pull force measuring thing. And if this works, you're going to see it on a lot of future projects because I've been meaning to make this for a long time. I've bought these um, cheapy scale things off eBay. Oh, come on, don't say you've broken already. No, okay. These are quite heavy duty. They go up to 300 kilos apparently, which should be more than enough. What I'm going to do is build a jig what I'm kind of thinking, hold on, let me just take this to the whiteboard. Oh, my whiteboard's full of stuff. It's my shopping list. So what I'm thinking is something along the lines of, we've got me scale things, and then we've got like the big hooky thing that comes out the end, and we've got the other kind of hook that comes out of that end. So what I'm kind of thinking, and what I want to do is measure the force that I can apply to an object here being pulled in that direction. I don't know why I've drawn it on its side. So let's imagine we've got a bracket or a screw or something. So I need a way of attaching the scales onto that. What I'm thinking is something that attaches onto like a bolt. And then I'll just tighten that bolt and then that will all be part of like a frame that kind of transfers the force to the wall here. When you tighten this bolt, it uh, puts force through the meter, tries to pull this thing out of whatever object I'm in here, and that could be anything. And uh, then I can get a measurement on there of uh, what sort of pull force it can withstand. Thinking of like an MDF like base with like a hole cut in it, if that makes sense. Some big bits of wood up either side. And then the top on it. Can you even see that kind of top on it with a bolt coming out? So it's actually gonna measure, the whole thing's gonna be kind of turned around. I think that'll work. What I'm kind of thinking is I'll put this brackety thing through that loop then that can attach onto whatever's getting pulled out of the object, if that makes sense. Not quite sure how yet. And then at this end, the only way I can kind of think of attaching this on <clears throat> is something like this heavy duty bracket, because this bracket can go through that. And then we've got the bolt that goes um, up to the top. I could always put another bolt further down if I wanted to um, have a permanent kind of height adjustment on it. So I need to cut down this and then I need to build the framework for it after I've cut this down. So I think that'll work. Let's find out.
There we go, all done and dusted. It's not gonna win any awards for prettiness, but it does the job perfectly. I might tweak it a little bit over time. That's why I haven't glued any of the joints or anything. They're just screwed because I might need to alter the, the height of, of these bits on it. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll just show you this a bit closer up. So yeah, basically all I'm gonna do is tighten this bolt at the top and when I tighten that it's going to pull the whole thing up. So I tested it on this crappy little screw into a, a piece of uh, stud timber and it actually got to well beyond 100 kilos and it actually also got to the point where it started uh, to bend the, the brass on this fitting. I'm not really planning on using it for anything uh, beyond 100 kilos but I might have to think of a a better way of attaching onto whatever I'm measuring. So here obviously the thing I'm measuring is is the pull force on this screw and how much, I, there was no sign of that budging. I reckon that would have gone to two or three hundred kilos before that would have broken. But uh, yeah, as I say, the brass on here started actually unwinding at about 100 kilos. So I might have to think of a better thing for that. But other than that, that does the job perfectly. The scale's upside down, that doesn't matter because I'm going to be filming what's on the screen of this. I can't really turn it the other way round because I want this loopy bit of the scale at this end for various reasons. And I want the hooky bit of the scale at this end and you can't really swap those round. But it doesn't matter at all because this is going to be getting filmed and I can easily flip the video when I edit it all. So jobs are good and as I say, <laughs> it's. It's, this is a functional piece of equipment for a couple of videos coming up, but it seems to work absolutely fine. If you subscribe and hit that like button, and if you follow me on Instagram as well, you will see this getting used on various projects coming up. So there's a few things that I want to test pull force on, and hopefully you'll find that useful. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye!